what kind of myths are you encountering in in Africa and particularly in Ghana? What what's the mythology around uh, the whole uh, area of cancer? As you know, I was able to be there with you and Ben Anderson yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. We saw you know you know big cancers, big lymph nodes, but there's got to be some real mythology. And and World Cancer Day is a lot about mythology. So share with us your experience mm -hmm. about what myths you've run into already in your work. Well, interestingly, I think uh, one of the top myths that we see in uh, Africa that needs to be dispelled is pretty much the same myth that needs to be dispelled in the United States among women. That myth being that uh, a diagnosis of cancer and for uh, uh, women a diagnosis of breast cancer is a death sentence. And that is absolutely not the case. Uh, we do have historically very clear data demonstrating that the worst thing that you can do about a breast cancer is to ignore it and to leave it untreated. Before we had appropriate therapies available for breast cancer, there were hospitals that did document the natural history of untreated breast cancer. And that natural history is that it will ultimately lead to the patient's demise. What we cannot predict is the rate of progression or the pattern of spread of the cancer. But not treating the disease is the worst thing that you can do. And here in the United States, as well as in Ghana, we see far too many women dying from the disease because they are afraid to seek medical attention and yep. afraid to yep. treat, seek treatment. Very, very true. Very true.